Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs, and today we'll be showing you how to assemble the tire box. Taking the pieces from the lid, we'll first add glue to the one of the side tabs, and then we'll attach the other side so the edge is aligned with the fold, the tab fold. Once glue is dry, then we'll curve it. Obviously, this is sped up. But we curve it with our fingers just to get a get it circular to help glue the other side tab. And again, match up the edge with the tab fold. You'll see the the line there. You don't want to fold it; you just want it for your reference. And then we fold in all the tabs, and this is so we can glue on the lid insert. So I'll flip it over. I added glue to only a few because it's so large, and I have fast drying glue. And then put push the insert in and press down to apply pressure until they were secured. Now some weren't, so I had to add more glue. But it just continue to add the tabs and glue them to the top until everything's complete. And I skipped uh, showing everything. So you'll see a completed box in just a moment. But every time I flip them down, I flip it over and apply pressure. And then uh, once they're all attached, it should look like this. And then we'll move on to assembling the middle of the lid. And you see, again, take that strip and curve it to bend. And then this only requires gluing one end, as shown. And then similar to the lid, one side will flip in all the tabs. And then we'll end up flipping it over and adding the middle of the lid insert by gluing all the tabs. On this one, I added glue all at once rather than partially, and then added the panel and applied pressure to secure the tabs. And then we just add the panel to the other side where all the tabs are. We'll add it to hide the tabs from when you open it up from the inside. Real simple, just to glue it on and apply some pressure. Once it's dry, we'll add the middle piece to the lid, as shown. We just push it down in the middle slightly, gently, and then pre-fold all the tabs. Then I start by attaching the four sides, like a one tab on each side, just to anchor them. So once those are in place, it'll help to glue the remaining tabs in place around the edge of the inside of the lid. So continue to, to glue on the tabs until everything's glued down. It, it, don't worry about the mess, but try not to be as messy as I am with the glue, but it will be covered with a panel. So it, if you do get a little messy, don't worry about it. So next we'll add the hubcap portion or the wheel portion. So the inside panel first as shown. And then the little hubcap, you'll see the little tabs on the end, fold them as shown, and then kind of fold them up. And then add glue onto the bottom of them and glue onto the top edges of the lid. Just trying to create a little dimension here. So complete, continue to glue those on. Then after you do so, we can add the lid panel to hide all those tabs, which you'll see it hides it well. But you do have to apply a lot of pressure to make sure it adheres. To finish it off, we'll add the tire edge. And then we'll add the tread panels on the side of the lid. Now you'll have to carefully do this to make sure it adheres. I didn't show all the gluing, but you're going to have to apply pressure as you go as you're rolling it across the edge carefully so you don't uh, buckle the, the box. Um, but the two panels, they should line up end to end fairly well. Once the panels are glued on, that completes the top lid and just assemble the bottom portion of the box similar to the lid. And once you have both pieces, you can slide the lid over the top and you'll have your tire box. Thank you for watching today and I hope you enjoy this project.